Hey, we're recording. This is Bearwood Brown here, Sandy Man Extraordinaire, or at least I like to think so. Uh, an occasional snow chain salesman. Now, what I have on here is a Husky 9mm chain. And this is supposed to fit up to 195 40 16. This tire is a 195-60-15, and it doesn't fit. So, uh, 195-50-14s, 195-45, I got 60s on there. So, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to be wide enough. I always get that confused about the uh, See, the chain just will not make the back connection, so we'll take it off. And let's try the next size up. It should be a 70. Uh, what's that one? That's a hundred. According to the label, this is a 70. So what I like to do is make sure the chain's not all loose and lying like it should be. Now, I think it might pay to take that black bit and, and take it around and shovel, shovel, shove that around there with it because you want to grab that from the back. So that you've got that out free like that. It's almost like the chain is laid out up there like that. And laid out back here sort of like that. Now, then what you do is you take both ends. And you meet at the top. Put that clip in there. Now, you got to make sure you keep that clip tight. Step number two, I always find so, so far, push that back a little bit until you can get this hooked is hook the front part that's number two okay then you can start pulling around and seeing if you have it looks like it's tangled i recommend if it's tangled don't do the way do that just start over again you'll see that's all tangled up here Okay, but that's not too bad, I think, for our purposes. Okay, now this chain is a little bit bigger. You want that center piece right down the middle. Okay, so put that on there. advising you to or telling you that you can get away with it but I would make that chain work with a couple of bungee cords to tighten that up if I was in a spot where I actually really really needed it. So take the chains off it's the opposite. Just undo it. Unhook the front. Bring the back part up and hook that. Now you're going to find, most likely, the wheel is on part of the chain. So 70 is not a very good fit. But now funny enough, that's, that's 70. Let's see. Let's see if it says my tire on there. 195 doesn't say one, it says 195 55, so that's only five mil or five centimeters, something, well, it's not centimeters. Five should have been a pretty close fit. But it doesn't. Now, here's another company. I got these because I didn't think those fit very good. I got them from a national sales person over the shop, just bought them, went in there, and they were a really good price. Now these are 12 mil 
chain. And I definitely like a 12 mil chain anytime. The thing is, it's what you can afford and what you need. Now, sometimes a 12 mil chain might not have enough clearance to do the job. So hook it together up there, grab the two sides, bring those around. Hook it on there. Now, if you're doing this with gloves, which I still told myself I was going to do it with gloves, man, sort of push that back, but make sure it doesn't come loose. See, you're looking for that center chain lining up on there. Now, these are the ones that I thought were for my car. Now, what I think we need to do... Gonna roll forward a little bit or back. I think I'll back up just a little bit. center of the camera now if you're watching this in the states or texas or california or someplace texas doesn't have too much snow but that was the sound of the of the d4d diesel which you guys are deprived of in the states as far as i can see hello leo i have an audience now so what that's supposed to do let's go through there and come back Someplace. It wants to actually come back. It wants to be up, up there. But for now, we can go there. Looks like that's okay that way. So, try and get that as tight as you can. So that's it's not bad. Not a bad fit. I think I might roll it backwards. Can you see right? Right there, it's sort of kinking. Okay, so that's it for now. Bearwood Brown on fitting the snow chains on this car.